Logitech just recently released their new version of the MX keyboard and mouse and they are really good but they are also expensive if you are on a low budget. Thanks to Proto.org you can get really good keyboard and mouse if you are on a low budget. In this video I will be taking a look at the EKM01 Advanced Ergonomic Keyboard and Mouse Combo from Proto.org. Timestamps and links to everything that I talk about in this video will be in the description. So if you see something that sparks your interest then feel free to check it out. Also use this code to get 10% off your orders on Proto.org website. Alright, let's start off with the unboxing. first thing you will notice with this keyboard and mouse is that it's not for gaming. It is built for productivity. So if you're looking for something more comfortable to use at your office or your home office, then you should definitely look into getting this keyboard and mouse combo. This keyboard and mouse has an ergonomic design which means that the keyboard and mouse are designed for efficiency and comfort in the working environment. The keyboard and mouse both have a premium battery capacity. Inside the mouse it has a 500 milliamp hour battery capacity which means it can last up to 100 hours and for the keyboard it has a 1100 milliamp hour battery capacity which means it can last up to 100 hours also. What I really like about this keyboard is that you can pair these devices with up to 3 devices. I don't know if it's just me but this mouse really looks like the MX Master mouse from Logitech which really looks modern. The keyboard however is where things really look different especially if you have been using a typical keyboard. With this keyboard it has a split keyframe design which if I'm being honest will take some time for you to get used to. Especially for me because I've used a Keychron K2 keyboard before I got this keyboard which is really small compared to this keyboard. But one of the features that makes this keyboard comfortable is the attached wrist rest pad which feels really comfy and soft on your wrist. Let's talk more about the mouse design. For the mouse it has a design that has a easy to grip thumb rest and let you hold your mouse in your natural hand position. Holding the mouse in the natural hand position makes your work more efficiently and comfortably. I know I'm saying the word comfortable a lot and that's because this mouse and keyboard is all about making your workflow comfortable which makes you more productive. Now if you decide to get this mouse and keyboard I'm going to show you how to set it up. Alright guys so here's how to connect your mouse to the computer. So first thing you want to do is turn on your mouse like that. Boom. And then you're going to press this button right here until it's on 2 or 3. So like now it's on 2 then you're going to press and hold for around 3 seconds or 5 seconds until it starts to flash fast. So now it's ready to connect. So on your computer here you're going to go to your settings however you find your settings and go to Bluetooth settings and then you're going to hit add device and then click on Bluetooth and then you should see Proto Arc come up right here and just hit there and then just hit connect and it's connected. So now you can see I am moving the mouse with this mouse right here. So now let's move on to the keyboard. To connect the keyboard is very similar to connecting to the mouse. So first you're going to turn on your keyboard. To turn on the keyboard is on the back right here. So just hit the on button and then you're going to want to press either Bluetooth 1 or Bluetooth 2. So press Bluetooth 2 just like that and then you're going to want to press and hold on Bluetooth 2 and then 
you're gonna wanna go to your settings right here. So let's go to settings and do the same thing that we just did with the mouse. Go to add device, go to Bluetooth, and this should pop up if I did it the correct way. So let's press again. Let's press and hold for around three to five seconds. There it is at the bottom right there. So ProtoArc EKM01. So click on that and it should connect right away. And just like that, you have the mouse, the keyboard connected right there. And it's actually showing you how many battery is left on the keyboard. And if I turn on my mouse right now, you're gonna also see how many battery is left on my mouse, which is 100% also. So let's get to some testing right now. Now, since it's all set up, let's do a type in test. So let's type some random stuff. I am typing really slow on this keyboard guys and it's only because I am not used to this kind of keyboard because this split right here really shows off everything because I'm typing now but I have to look on the keyboard but I can definitely see that this keyboard will be more comfortable and more suitable for your wrist while you're typing especially if you're using this as a productivity keyboard so yeah it will take some time to get used to but here I'm just typing I'm missing some keys also but it's actually two space bar right here guys which is really cool so one here and one here and it has a split right here and you can pause and play your audio you can next skip your audio and all those stuff and this actually turns down the volume and turns up the volume which is really nice really neat honestly and yeah that's the keyboard right there while typing I can't type fast on it, but I'm pretty sure if I use this every day consistently, I would definitely be able to type fast on it without even looking down on the keyboard. That's just my honest opinion. Alright, so I know I did say that this was not built for gamers, but let's test it out while playing some Minecraft to see how it performs. Alright guys, so we're playing some Minecraft right now. And we're gonna see how this keyboard and mouse works while playing Minecraft. Is it like good for gaming even though it's not a gaming keyboard? Let's sleep first and see. So right away I'm jumping and it's not that loud compared to the keyboard that I was using before which was a Keychron K2 keyboard which is really loud when you're playing game. And the mouse also is really, it's really like the click. You're not really hearing any click. So it's really nice so far. It's really smooth compared to what I was using. It might take some time to get used to it, but yeah, it is nice so far. Let's try to fly. Yeah, and it, the response time is really good. Yeah, the response time is really good, guys. I just checked that out. When I turn, it actually turns and all that good stuff. Let's try to aim real quick. Aim for this pig. Will I get him? Perfect. So yeah, so far it's really good. So I would definitely use this for gaming. If you're like more of a productivity person and thinking that, hey, you need a gaming mouse for this or a gaming keyboard for this, then now you can actually use this to play some game. Not professionally but like yeah just like casually play games with your friends so that's how it works with gaming guys Wow. Alright guys, so while I'm using the mouse, I realized something. So if I left it and don't use it for like maybe five seconds or even longer, it's automatically like turn off, like it doesn't respond. And in order to fix that, you just need to press this back to let it know that, hey, 
you're ready to use the mouse again so if your mouse is sit there for a while and not being used it's going to turn off automatically and that's the only reason why i believe they're doing that is to save battery life which is a good technology so yeah if that works don't be like oh my mouse is not working just click this little button right here and it should fix it properly all right guys so one more thing that i just found out with this keyboard is this button right here it locks your computer in one press so normally you would have to go to your start menu like that and then go to your face right there and hit lock with this button you just simply just press the lock so let me show you real quick so i'm going to press it right now boom it's locked and you can leave your decks and don't worry about anyone getting your computer because in order to get back in you have to put in your password also guys you have some additional buttons right here you have like this one brings up like different desktop if you have different desktop set up for your computer like on windows 11 you can search on your start menu right here by pressing that and you also have a copy button a cut button i believe a paste button the mute button the home button and i've been trying to use this camera button right here but it's not working for me i'm not sure if it's like a setting that i have to fix or something like that but it's not working i thought it would be like for screenshot but no it's not working all right guys so here's just like an example of how you, you would use the copy key so first you will highlight what you want to copy which i'm highlighting this wallpaper right there and hold your function key right there and go over to copy and once it copied you're gonna go say you want to copy it to your desktop so click on your desktop and then do function key again and hit paste which is f10 so there it is it is on your computer just like that you can also adjust the brightness up here which is really nice and you can do a lot of things with this keyboard guys trust me it's not just the normal keyboard it's like it's gonna make your life easier it has a lot of shortcuts so yeah Now here are my final thoughts. I've been using the keyboard and mouse for the past couple of weeks to type my video scripts and to casually browse the internet. And over those past couple of weeks, I haven't had to charge a keyboard or mouse. And I haven't had any connection issues or delay. That's pretty much it for this video guys. If you reach this far in the video, please comment a keyboard and a mouse emoji in the comment section so I know that you stick around to the end of the video. Thanks for watching.